Hey, hey, insight number five here. Going back to Moses chapter five. Now, yes, I am jumping around, but it just seemed to flow better for me in my head anyway. So we're going to look at verses four to nine of chapter five. Um, and this is about sacrifice and how to sacrifice. Because if we're going to give thanks realistically, like we just talked about, the sacrifices we give also have to be done in, in a very like, genuine way. So we're going to talk about that. So, 4 through 9. And Adam and Eve, his wife, called upon the name of the Lord, and they heard the voice of the Lord from the way toward the Garden of Eden, speaking unto them. And they saw him not, for they were shut out of his presence. So they heard him, couldn't see him. All right? And he gave unto them commandments that they should worship the Lord their God and should offer the first things of their flocks for an offering unto the Lord. And Adam was obedient unto the commandment of the Lord. Because Adam's a good dude. And after many days, an angel of the Lord appeared unto Adam, saying, Why dost thou offer sacrifices unto the Lord? And Adam said unto him, I know not, save the Lord commanded me. Now that needs to apply to a lot of us in our life because we have questions about church things. Some of them are not going to be answered immediately or maybe even in our lifetime. Some of them have been because we believe in continued revelation. Just pausing here in between the scriptures. Um, but sometimes it just needs to be, it sufficeth me that God says so. Kind of like, you know, when you're a little kid and you die, why, why, why? Your mum's like, because I said so. Like, why do I have to go to bed at 10 o'clock? Because I said so. I'm the parent. I'm taking care of you. Just trust me on this. And we're pretty stubborn, aren't we? So we could all do better, including myself, really. Anyway, so the Lord said, yeah. So the, the angel said, why are you all offering sacrifices? And Adam's like, um, I don't know, except God said that we had to, or the Lord said we had to. And the angel spake, saying, this thing is a similitude of the sacrifice of the only begotten of the Father, which is full of grace and truth. So he explained to them why. This is a symbol of what is going to happen to the Savior, and we're doing this as a thanks. Um, this is an offering of thanks for what we have. It's like a tithe. It's a it's a heartfelt gratitude of that's what they did. That was what they were commanded to do. That's what they did. Um, verse eight says, "Wherefore thou shalt do all that thou doest in the name of the Son, and thou shalt repent and call upon God in the name of the Son forevermore." And in nine. And in that day, the Holy Ghost fell upon Adam. So this is how Adam gets the Holy Ghost. When it says fell upon, I'm wondering if the angel conferred on him the Holy Ghost. I don't entirely know. Maybe he already had the gift of the Holy Ghost, like we do at baptism. Because I'm sure they went and got baptized somehow. But it's never recorded that we know of. But anyway, this mentions Adam had the Holy Ghost. And I'm sure he then shared it around appropriately with those of age. Because he would have sought further instruction on that anyway uh, but yeah in that day the holy ghost fell upon adam which beareth record of the father and the son saying i am the only begotten of the father from the beginning henceforth and forever that as thou hast fallen thou mayest be redeemed and all mankind even as many as will now that last sentence key even as many as will again we have our choice and a lot of people choose to not and those of us that will get blessed for it. But it's a choice. And the best way to help someone make that choice is to just love them. And then they will make their own choice. You cannot make them, force them into that choice. You cannot do that. You just can't. You can just love them for who they are. And you don't have to love their actions. But you can love them for who they are. And just show that love and compassion and kindness. Give grace. Give mercy always. You don't know what's going on with them. And just love them. And if they really feel that love. Eventually. They'll start. Coming back. Or coming to church. Or just behaving better. And unfortunately. Things happen to people before that happens. That doesn't mean they're damned for eternity. That means they made a bad decision. And it was an accident. And that's okay. Um, but the point is that we're trying to make here do you offer your sacrifices with a willing and obedient heart because we already talked about the fact that Cain made his sacrifices without that and then got jealous of Abel because he was comparing himself to him and that's when Satan started getting in his ear and, and just well even before that look at Abel right 
and it's just like just don't just when you hear that in your head you just say no satan no no i am only going to compare myself to yesterday's me only to make sure i'm doing a little bit better and even then comparing no not really just checking in keep it keep it like you know nice keep it with love keep it with understanding and compassion all right um but yeah do you offer your sacrifices with a willing and obedient heart animal sacrifices were symbolic of christ's sacrifice we talked about that now that christ went through that part of the plan some two thousand years ago um what does he ask you to sacrifice now right what do we sacrifice we don't go get a lamb and put it on an altar that's not what we do anymore what do we do now well we sacrifice our time and our talents for the building up of the kingdom of god we also pay tithing fast offering those are all sacrifices those are all showing our gratitude like um trying to figure here oh yeah like mary and g romney said about rendering into him in a realistic manner the gratitude that we have sorry just saw the one um so what do we do are you willingly doing so or murmuring in the process are you paying tithing willingly or are you kind of murmuring and thinking oh i could really use that to do this this is like i pay that bill in because then you don't understand it you don't get that feeling of <sighs> yeah you just don't um for those of us that pay tithing regularly and have a testimony of it there's no way we'd miss it and we know why for those that don't i challenge you to pay your tithing regularly and embrace it this year and see what a difference it makes in your life you look back at it at the end of the year and if you've done that through your year and you've made that a good habit and a good practice as part of your living the difference in your life will be huge it really really is um yeah you've heard testimonies about it I, I can't convince you to do it i challenge you to do it i challenge you to go try it um sister wendy nelson and i love this quote she said make a sacrifice to the lord and then be prepared to be surprised god is a great compensator and i have said that before and i will keep saying it you make that sacrifice that for you is super hard and yet prepared be prepared to be surprised because even if it's not right away at some point oh my gosh the lord will surprise you god will surprise you he's a great compensator i cannot tell you the number of times in my life i've made the sacrifice and thought it was super hard and yet never gone without never had to like live homeless homeless truly i've couch surfed a couple of times but i've been grateful i've had a roof over my head never had to sleep in the streets and it's gotten better and better um the more my attitude improved the better it's gotten um and my attitude continues to improve my word for this year is change and i'm trying to embrace all the changes and find strength in embracing those changes it's not easy that's a big challenge for me and i'm really going to work on it however i'm being prepared to be surprised because sometimes i'm truly shocked you know i i do that whole you know god i know you're a god of miracles lord i know that you can do anything but that 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 you just did was truly special and i find that more and more so think about that um are you offering your sacrifices with a willing and obedient heart all right i have rambled on for too much this week already i hope you've enjoyed that and got something out of it there's actually so much to learn and so much to take in from this week's come follow me you can just do the manual and talk about some of the stuff or you can deep dive into it and there's so much material out there to look at that it can overwhelm you so don't feel overwhelmed really focus first on just the come follow me manual anything on top of that is just awesome and is going to just help your learning grow um, your understanding of it again what i do here what i do with this teaching is to try and apply it to our lives now I look at these scriptures and these stories and it, yes it's good to know that history but it's only of use to us if we can apply it in our lives today so the things that we talk about here are what we can do today so 
If you know of any friends that want to join us, please invite them. But have a great weekend. I loved being able to be here with you this week. And I will see you next week. We're just looking in Genesis next week. So it would be some good stuff. Alright, I'll see you there. Bye.